happy people welcome to Kimba's crafts my name is Kim and if you're new here hello welcome if you're returning welcome back guys love you so much thank you for joining me for another video I hope you're all doing well out there I hope 2023 is treating everybody great um I have an unboxing today and I told you I was going to do more unboxings but this is a special unboxing so this unboxing comes from Oraloa. You guys know I love my Oraloa. Yes, I do. I love Oraloa. <laughs> I'm just going to keep saying it. Um, so I am an affiliate with Oraloa. And I'm very proud to be an affiliate for or Oraloa. I, um, as you know, I only have one diamond painting so far um framed it's behind me behind my desk and it's my painting from Orlo. it's the only one i've done so far and it was a square diamond painting and it was phenomenal so i am an affiliate for them and they reached out to me and they said hey would you show a diamond painting on your channel and i said absolutely and i told them to just pick one for me that I filled out this questionnaire, told them the kind of things I liked. And um, so they picked one for me. And I already know what it is because when they shipped it out to me, I got a, a notice. So I'm very excited to show this to you guys. So they ship their boxes in these sturdy boxes here. And it always comes with, whoops, it always comes with this packaging, this brown packaging inside to keep it from bouncing around. These boxes are great these outer boxes that they package it in. And this is the um, actual diamond painting box that they come in. So I got a little extra thing here from them. Their unboxings can be so fun. And so here's a little trash tray. It's a little tiki. <laughs> so cute. And it says Oraloa on the back. I have a couple of these trays now. I have to get them all together. And you could you could always put a magnet and make this a cover minder. And um, oh, I have some more cards. I want to get a card holder to hold all of these. I think that see how they have their numbers on there. So this is John Clark's So Free Bay. That is gorgeous. Is that on their site? And I can't say that. Narakimi White Rabbit. And I did see this on there. And, oh, Treasure Hunt. I love doing these. So this is an opportunity. So it says, it's um, Aloha Treasure. scratch me if you have three tiki's you win a kit of your choice oh i already know which one i would pick i do one tiki two tiki's oh two tiki's just two tiki's <laughs> but that's so fun to do and what do we have here? Oh, I have more magnets coming. I am going to make these into cover minders. Absolutely. So cute. And yes, there's a hole in him. I'm getting a string to keep all of my um, Oraloa uh, little charms that they send you. I'm going to keep them all together. So, but these I'm going to make into to cover minders, definitely. 
I have some coming from, I ordered new ones from Amazon. I hope they're the right size because the last time it was a big fail. And what do I have here? Oh, he can be a cover minder too. And then we have some stickers. Welcome to Oraloa, United States of America. And then we have the two Tiki guys. And this is their business card. So I actually have, I did get a business card organizer for all of the shipments that I'm getting. All right, let's see, what did we get here? So this is the diamond painting they sent me. And I'm very excited about this. And it's called Pine Valley by Dominic Davidson. Yes. So you guys know I love my landscapes. I really, really do. I love, I love intricate paintings. I love paintings that have a lot of things going on in them. I'm, I don't do as many portraits, but uh, the Indian that I did was a portrait, but it, it had such a watercolor feel to it. Um, I don't know. I, I really love that watercolor feel as well. So. Okay. I love getting into a new painting. I love kitting up a new painting. I, oh my, I just love diamond painting. <laughs> it's just, wow, this is really heavy. So, um, we'll look at all of the deets. So it comes in this plastic dust cover bag and it's, they're always packaged so beautifully. All right. So this is a soft felty like canvas. It's not like a, it's, see how it kind of wrinkles. It looks like it wrinkles. It's a felty. It's not like super, it's not like fuzzy soft. It's a felty soft to me. And it does have poked edges and I mean, it is poked and scalloped edged as you can see. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm just gonna let all of this fall out and then we're going to roll the canvas back and get this baby on here. The sun is starting to come out. It's not, it's it's cloudy though. It's cloudy out there. So I shouldn't get any like, as I say that, watch the sun like beam down on this. <laughs> okay. So just rolled it back to help it lay flat. And it's huge guys. Oh my goodness, it's huge. Look how gorgeous that is. I'm gonna have to push everything up a little bit. Wow. Wow, this is so beautiful. All right, let's talk about the canvas, okay? So I told you it's like a felty, soft, not like a fuzzy, soft, lint canvas, okay? Real quick, we'll do a tour. So over in this corner, you can't see it. It has their social medias. There is a legend on the top left and the bottom right. In the bottom down here, we have the name of the artist and the size of the canvas. So it is by Dominic Davidson. It is a 92 by 66 centimeter. That's why it's so big, guys. Yes. It's huge, right? But look how beautiful it is. And we'll talk about all of that. In the top middle, it has their logo, Oraloa. In the top right, we have the thumbnail and the name of the painting and the artist, Dominic Davidson, and it's called Pine Valley. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and 
pan over this real quick for you guys and we're going to get a little up up close and personal so you can see the canvas <laughs> Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road Where mama and papa used to go Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago And pine for them old days of yore Well, let me run through the breeze like the leaves on let me fly like the leaves when they fall Well, let my mind go serene like a cool I hope you enjoyed that pan over. I told them I loved landscapes. So let's talk about the canvas. It is very clear. Let's look at the symbols really close up. See the symbols? And I'll just pull you, I'm sorry you're shaking. I'm just gonna pull you to a couple different areas. So you can see how clear those symbols are. Here's some browns. Super clear, right guys? This painting has 60 colors, 60 colors on this painting. And let's go ahead and look at this. So we have 60 colors and there is one, two, three, four, five, five ABs. And it's all the normal so they have one through eight as one through eight over here, and then they start A, C, D, and they have them in order, but other things in between. We have lowercase as well. Okay, and then we have the A, Bs over here. And you can see the stickers look great. They're, they're pre-cut stickers. We have our nice, um, picture of the painting here for our journal and then these stickers you can cut out and throw them in your journal throw them in your sticker book whatever you want to do they cut they, they cut out so this is lovely I love that also what comes in the kit is your instructions you get 15% off code instructions tips and tricks it's a little pamphlet Okay guys, I love this beautiful red barn and the green tractor in front. Look at these tree trunks. They're not your standard brown. They got some, they, they almost look like birch, but they're not. I know they're not birch trees, but I love the way that they look. I love the colors of them. And then the sky is like this, trop, uh, what do you call it? I always call it the tequila sunrise. I love those colors in that sky. It just brings a pop of pink and, or and yellow and orange in the painting. We have a lot of greens going on over here. We have chickens. I love chickens. So we have our chickens around here. And then we have a, um, a sign that says Pine Valley Farm. I think I might change it to Kimba's. <laughs> Kimba's farm. <laughs> you could do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is so beautiful. And then, and yeah, we have this lake here. And we have a cow. I think it's a cow. Right there. And then the birds in the sky. It's so fun. Okay, guys, let's take a look at the toolkit. I always go out of order, I know. I like to show the canvas right away because I know people like to see the canvas right away. I know when I'm watching an unboxing, 
toolkit is basic, guys. We're not gonna spend a lot of time on it. Just gonna pull it out real quick. You get a set of tweezers. This is a square diamond painting. Um, I'm not even sure if, or I haven't unboxed a round diamond painting from Oraloa yet, so I don't even know if they give tweezers with round ones, but uh, it's a Mosfa boat. Uh, you get two multi-placers. They're the thick kind. You get a glitter pen with a purple squishy and a jar of blue wax. There's three plates of wax here. So we'll just set that aside. And we're going to go ahead and get into these gorgeous drills. Let's look at the colors. So... You see, it's like very farm-like, but then you have all of these pinks and peaches in here. And then we have the reds for the barn. And we have a lot of the greens and the browns for the forest and trees. The beautiful blues for the lake. You do have individual baggies for each color and they are in order. Okay. So if you have a lot, they put, oh, so here's two three tens. So what I like to do anymore is I like to pull them all out and just line them up in order. So it's very easy to kit up. So we have two huge bags of three tens. There's a lot of shadowing in this. And then here's some of our browns and greens, different different shades of it. Some more of the greens. Look at all those different types of greens. And then we have this peach color, some more browns hands. I love it. Okay, and then we have more greens. I mean, how many different color greens do you think there are and browns? And then they threw in this dark, the 823 dark blue. And we have this gorgeous light pink. I think it looks like baby lotion almost. I mean, honestly, I wonder, I, I wanna count how many greens we have in this kit. Because we have more here even. Here's another, it's like a sleep blue and here's Another green, another brown, a dark blue, nine, or this is the dark, dark blue. Almost looks like black if you don't have black, 939. And then a nice bright orange, which I'm sure goes in the, um, the barn here. Right, and then here is the second pack of drills. Definitely a little more mix of colors here as I pull out two bags of browns. <laughs> and then like a mauve and a dark peach. Another brown, light blue, like a, a corn cornflower blue, I would say, and then an aqua, and then a, this is like like um like the skin tone peach, almost, and then a gray. Here we have a darker skin tone peach, 
And we have this, this is a very pretty blue. And we have a bunch of blues and then now we're getting into some yellows and here's another gray. So many colors in this kit. And we have 5,200, so white, white. And we have this like daffodil uh, yellow and then 666, red, red. And then we have these two different shades. They're two different colors of brown. And sometimes I see, sometimes Waraloa does this and I love it. They package the ABs separately and they did it in this kit. So they put them in a special bag for the special drills. Oh, we have some loose drills here. I didn't see any of the bags open. This bag, this bag's open. 3371. 3371. You're going in detention. You're naughty. <laughs> all right. I think he's all scooped up here. Let's see here. Let's take a look at our ABs. I think he said there was five of them. And we'll go ahead and see where they go. So... Let me just get these couple that are on the top of the bag inside. So this is number 59. So it is a purple AB. If you don't know what AB is, it's a special drill. It's called Aurora Borealis. And if you see the plain purple bottoms, that's the color of the actual drill. But then you see the top where the shiny is, that's a coating that they put on top and it makes them an AB iridescent drill and it stands for Northern Lights. So pretty. Okay, so these go, let's see. All right, I saw what, I saw the, um, okay, so I see some here. Now I know what it looks like. It's a bright, all in this cloud, all over here. So in the sky, I'm sorry, keep hitting me with my news. It's in the sky. That's where this is going. That's gonna be so pretty. 57, 57 is an up arrow. Okay, I'm looking for an up arrow. And do I see any reflection? Any reflection? No, it's probably going to be up in the sky again. Is it? Yes. It's all here. Here. It's like outlining these clouds. I see a couple down here. So, and that's this beautiful pink the sun's coming out so now we are looking for this lavender ab it's number 53 and i saw this a lot so i see it here so we see it in the reflection of this lake um i see it here over here in these flowers just a couple not very many i do see some here in the windows and on the house the barn here uh, over here And some here, up here. So yeah, it's all in the sky. And then number 54 is this banana yellow AB. And that is the M. So again, I see some here in the reflections here, here, I see some here, 
in the trees a little bit and then mostly in the sky tons of it here here tons of it in the sky a little bit here some on the tractor here and then 56 is this blue AB it's like an electric blue and it's an H I'm looking for a small H a lowercase H and so where do I see that do I see any here so I don't see actually no actually it, it's all here tons of it here the roof almost the entire roof is this this blue AB I don't see any in the sky actually so it's like in the lake and in the roof that's where I see this this electric blue that's going to be gorgeous so what do you think guys do we love this painting or what yeah so we have things reflecting off of the truck here off of the tractor off of the house or the barn and the roof and then in the sky on the lake and just spr sporadically very lightly through here in the trees I think this is gonna be so gorgeous. Kimba's Farm, I love it. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out. If you wanna see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and friends here at Kimba's Crafts. I would love to have you. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care, keep diamond painting.